iOS 26 delivers the most significant update to Apple Music app. It gets features like music automix, animated lock screen artwork, lyrics translation and more. Here are all the new Apple Music features that make the iOS 26 update worth installing. With the iOS 17 update, Apple released a crossfade feature that created a seamless transition between two songs. The iOS 26 update replaces it with a new AI-powered Automix feature that's even better. To enable this feature, go to the Music Player screen and tap the three lines with dots button in the bottom right corner. Now, tap the Automix button to turn it on. This feature works best with Apple's Playlist Mix where songs are of similar tempo and beat. And when it works, it's like having a mini DJ in your pocket. iOS 26 has also added support for animated lock screen artwork for the songs that support it. Play a song and tap the album art to expand it. Generally, you will get a big album artwork on the lock screen. But for songs that support animated artwork, the artwork will occupy the entire display. Wait a few seconds and the animations will begin. My favorite feature of Apple Music in iOS 26 is the automatic lyrics translation and pronunciation. When listening to music in other languages, you will see a live translation alongside the original lyrics so you know what's being sung. Apple Music will also show the phonetic pronunciation of the original lyrics so you can sing along without butchering it. Of course, not all languages are supported, but once implemented correctly, this feature will be a game changer for Apple Music listeners. Apple Music now lets users pin music for easy access. To pin a song or album, long press on it and tap the pin album or pin song button. It will now be pinned on the top of Apple Music's library page, giving you quick access to your favorite songs and albums. With the iOS 26 update, you finally get the ability to create folders in Apple Music from your iPhone. To add a folder, go to the library tab and open the playlist section. Now, Tap the plus button in the top right corner and then tap the new folder button. Name the folder and tap the create button to create it. iOS 26 update also adds three new home screen widgets to Apple Music. You can now add medium and large widgets for your pinned music as well as a large widget for live radio. I love the new pinned music widgets as they allow me to play my favorite songs and albums right from the home screen. If you like the Apple Music Replay feature that displays an overview of your most played songs, you will be happy to know that this feature is now natively baked into the Music app. To access your Apple Music Replay, simply scroll down to the bottom of the Home tab in the Apple Music app. And that ends our list of the new Apple Music features coming with iOS 26 update. If you enjoyed this video, click here to find the 10 best hidden features of iOS 26. I will see you there. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.